Good morning, beautiful people! Welcome back to Liu, Live Everything and Wonder. Welcome back to Lucky Land, but only for a few minutes because we are leaving. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu, Live Everything and Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. We recently started the incredible journey of parenthood. This is our daughter Luce. We have spent two intense months renovating our cottage in the Italian Alps, and now it's time for a little break. We are living in Luckyland and we are visiting a place of endless horizons. Please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel to enjoy our adventures. We are getting ready. As I mentioned in the previous video, we had a rough day yesterday because Luce got vaccinated and then she got fever, high fever. She was not feeling very well. So now we are waiting for someone and then we could leave. So I can tell you that we are staying in Italy, that we are going close to the sea, maybe on the sea. Luce is ready, summer outfit. <laughs> She's very curious. She's very interested in the camera. Do you want to say something about it? No? Are you ready to leave? Yesterday I spent most of the time uh, packing for Luce because this is the first time we're leaving. This is our first adventure as a family and so it was everything new for us. The first road trip that we made was after I gave birth to Luce that we went from Merano, South Tyrol, to the hospital from, from the hospital to here to Luckyland. It was a good five six hours drive. Today will be longer and then we have to calculate that we need to stop every one hour or so because I need to breastfeed Luce. I'm not going to wash any clothes during our trip so I need to bring a lot of changes, a lot of outfits. Good morning, good morning beautiful people. Are you still packing? Yeah. <laughs> this is where I'm here. Yeah. Tripod, GoPro. So this is what we have to take with us. This is all Lucha stuff. We managed to put everything inside here because we will not have so much room. Also diapers and hair dryer, some shoes. <laughs> and then we have our luggage. And then I have here. This is for all our toiletries, Lucha stuff, our stuff. Are you ready to leave? We are closing the house, we left the flowers outside so that our neighbors that are here during the summer, they can water it for, for us, so they won't die, don't worry, our garden will be in good hands while we'll be away. Almost ready. Have you shown the people, the beautiful people who is coming with us? Mm, now we will <laughs> reveal who is coming with us. Okay. Ciao! Ciao! Daddy Claudio! Ciao, good morning! Nonno Claudio is coming with us. Uh, are you happy, Luce? Yeah! Was it easy to pack everything? <laughs> Are you ready, Lady Claudio? Yes, yes, we're ready to go. Drive. We will reveal the final destination tonight. Yes. Let's see if we will fit inside the car. Baby Luce, ready to board. Uh -huh. New car, Baby Luce. This is di mamma. This is di mamma. Nonno Claudio's car.
beautiful people. This is the current situation. Daddy Claudio is driving. Sara is back there. And, and Luce. We have, uh, Luce meditating. <laughs> she has been sleeping since we left Lucky Land. So this is a good sign. We will let her sleep till she is asleep and then we will stop several times so we I can breastfeed her. And then we have Daddy Luca, co-driver. Daddy Claudio is super concentrated, is focused on the road and uh, 100 miles per hour we are driving. It's not bad. Super fast. <laughs> In the States uh, you could be arrested. <laughs> so Daddy Claudio is enjoying his new car. How do you feel? Do you like very it? well, very well. This is a very comfortable uh, and elegant car. But I have to say it's not really spacious. Uh, it's okay if, if you are a single like my father but if you are a family with a newborn uh, it's quite small we are on the highway of course we are on the highway here in Italy you can choose between uh, highways uh, where which you get faster to a place but you don't have much views uh, and you don't see so many places it is quite expensive because you need to pay these toll roads but at the same time you get faster to the destination where you need to go on the other side if you get um, if you try and you choose uh, normal roads uh, it will be really really slower but uh, you will get uh, views uh, you will have on the other side if you get the normal roads uh, you will have restaurants uh, you will have a lot of views uh, but uh, it will take you longer of course but sometimes uh, you get uh, also traffic on the highway we can already spot a sea over there we choose uh, the highway so not much of a view <laughs> We stopped at the Autogrill, which are these uh, places. Uh, this one is called My Chef, other ones are called Autogrill. Are these places where you can stop, uh, eat something, drink something, go to the toilet. Uh, right now, Daddy Claudio is in there at the toilet. Sara and Lucia back here. We are in Genova right now in Liguria, and we will not stop in Liguria. This is not our final destination. If I can recommend you something, if you can, don't stop in the auto grill to eat because it's very expensive. Probably you can get a sandwich, it's okay, a coffee, it's okay, but it's very expensive. If you have time, just exit the toll road and find a place, restaurant, like the Turismo, a Tantoria, where you can eat and sit down. If you are in a rush, then it's okay also the auto grill. As you can see, it's super crowded. There are many buses uh, also full of people stopping. Uh. There is always a gas station and then the auto grill where you can eat and have a break. We will let uh, Luce eat uh, and then we will hit the road again uh, and keep driving towards our destination. We will get there tonight. We are back on the road, now Luca is driving. Beautiful book. Ciao, amore. Ciao.
Okay guys, we found a trattoria just outside the highway. We will stop here for lunch. Luce is doing uh, so great, uh, she's amazing. <laughs> she eats, then she sleeps, then she eats, then she sleeps. She's enjoying the new car with air conditioning. Ah, just woke up. Ciao. <laughs> She's smiling to Daddy Claudio. Amore. This is a typical, traditional Tuscan trattoria, osteria, where you can eat the traditional food from this area. Fresh bread, amazing fruits and vegetables, and everything is seasonal here. Red wine. This is the famous panzanella. Daddy Claudio, what is the panzanella? It's uh, bread. They use the old bread when it's uh, hard. Stale, stale bread. Yes, and they put uh, tomato, garlic, oil, vinegar, and a bit of salt, and then basil, and uh, they let it uh, soak. Exactly, and then and then you eat it like that. It's very good. Olives. Olives. It's a kind of bruschetta. Yes. Very, mm. very soft. There is also finocchio. finocchio. How do you call finocchio? Fennel. Uh, Fennel. We have gnocchi with um, blue cheese. And over here, tortelli with meat. Herbs. This is carpetta. <laughs> she likes to steer the camera. <laughs> Are you going to be an actress? An actress? <laughs> a superstar? Huh? Hey, Lucha Superstar? Boom. So guys, we are in Tuscany and what can I say is that we will stay in Tuscany but we have still some road ahead of us a 
and we successfully arrived in Piombino at the port because we are embarking on a ferry. We are going on an island that is very close to this port from Piombino. It will be a one hour ferry. We are going on a little island. It's not Sardinia, it's not Sicily. It's called Elba, Isola d'Elba, Elba Island. It's packed with people. We have the ferry at 5.30, is 4.52, so we are on time. Now we have to wait for the orange man to see. Guys! We made it, we, we got to the ferry, now we will wait a little bit in 35 minutes uh, the boat will leave the, the ferry so we made it just in time she was great luce was great wonderful wonderful she slept she ate uh, she talked a lot she was like wah, 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 wah. <coughs> what is interesting that the elba island is only five nautical miles away from Piombino. So from Piombino to the f closest port in Elba, that is Cavo, there are only five miles, nautical miles. One mile is 1,852 meters. So basically, I could drive a boat to Elba Island with my boat driving license. But unfortunately, we don't have a boat so we have to wait for the ferry. Elba is beautiful, it's part of Tuscany. It has these very picturesque towns and beautiful beaches. And it's known, it's famous because Napoleone, Napoleon spent 10 months for, the, for his exile in 1814-1815. Porto Ferraio, that is the port where we will arrive, at Elba is the town where he spent the exile. We made it into the ferry. It's time to leave the car. We are inside. It's really, really hot. We are all sweating. And we are sleeping. But our little area over here, fortunately in here there is the ICC, the air conditioning, so Luce, she's like, she's sleeping. How are you Daddy Claudio? Very well, very well. Other kids can play over there. Okay, we will relax a little bit, it's about 45 minutes to an hour boat ride from um, from Piombino to Porto Ferraio. Piombino, Porto Ferraio, Isola d'Elba. We are leaving Piombino. Bye bye. Let's go around, let's che check this ferry out. Hi, 
Sistira. Yeah. She's enjoying laying down a little bit. Stira di tutta, 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 stira di How are we going to be able to find our car, Luce? How are we going to be able? It was super hot, we sweat a lot, we just talking and now we are going direction Nareño, Capo Liberi, we are going to our hotel. Strongly and firmly, grabbing my chair, tired as I stumble, raving circus, won't you crumble? We've arrived guys, we have the view on Porto Azzurro, this is this little town we have in front of us. These guys will be our home for the next week. Look at this view. Wow. Do you like it amore? Do you want to come with mommy on the balcony? Hopla. This is first time for you, Luce, that you are seeing the sea. Guarda! Guarda, mare! Il mare! 
Che meraviglia! But now the most beautiful view is this one. This one is the beautiful view of this beautiful little girl. Ciao amore! Let's go. Let's go to the restaurant of the hotel. We have half board in this hotel, so we'll have breakfast and dinner included. And this is the beautiful view we have from the terrace of our restaurant. Luce is speaking with Nonno Claudio. <laughs> Ormai adesso ormai mi conosce. Long conversations between uh, Luce <laughs> and uh, Nonno Claudio. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. You like it? Yes. <laughs> How is the place? Nice, very Are nice. You happy? Yes. You, the choice was very, very good. Sara is the best at choosing uh, places. Uh, she's the planner. Fresh salmon. What are you having, Daddy Claudio? Chickpeas uh, soup with uh, olive oil. Some, uh, some crouton, crouton, crostini. I'm having uh, a seafood uh, risotto. And I'm having crepe with artichokes and curry. Of course. Of course. And Luce, she's plain. Mixed uh, fruit season. Really healthy. Sara is having uh, Gelato, gelato, oh. pistachio and cream and I am having a tiramisu We are in our bed, Luce is sleeping The view from here is amazing as you saw in the previous images yes. but we will show you everything in the next episode more about this hotel, more about the surrounding areas more about Isola d'Elba, there is the third biggest island in Italy. Yes, it's the biggest and most famous island in Tuscany. In Italy, the biggest island is Sicily, then we have uh, Sardinia, Sardinia, and then uh, Isola d'Elba. So, we are very exhausted. The trip was fantastic. Luce, but it was long. Yeah, it was long. Luce behaved amazing, I have to say. First trip, 100% guys. If she will be like this, it will be okay to travel with her. <laughs> yeah. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, share to us, smash the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. The Italian words of today's episode are Isola Island Viaggiare Travel Traghetto Ferry Isola Island Viaggiare To travel Traghetto Ferry we love you, we appreciate you, thank you for coming along with us and stay with us because we will show you more, 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 more of yes. this place. Don't miss uh, next Sunday's video and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao beautiful people.
Zik. 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 Zik.